Well, I'd also here like to get uh, introduce Wendy Aylesworth, who most of you already know. She needs no introduction, and she's here representing the Warner Brothers as well as Cinti, and as well as maybe yourself. Because I'd like to get your point of view on it. You've seen a lot of changes in the industry. What is it that you think is significant or most significant in terms of changes and? Uh, is there anything in there that you remember specifically that happened that you didn't expect to happen? I think you mentioned the 3D. Uh, so I think the digital conversion has been a good foundation on which to build. Um, and certainly I agree with you, although we had discussed um, the possibility of 3D in DCI, in Cinti, it was kind of how quickly it came onto the market was kind of a surprise. And that's a confluence of not only a, a nice digital still projector, but the advances in technology and, and polarized glasses. And there were many things that happened to come together at the same time to permit that. And I think that the um, foundation, when you couple it with other emerging technologies, uh, laser light coming, that's so exciting from a creative's point of view that, gee, we could actually have 3D presentations that were bright enough uh, to see, because that's always a struggle in the theaters right now on a 3D presentation is making sure that there's sufficient light, and we think that lasers will be able to provide that. Coupling things with um, digital Wi-Fi technology are exciting. Um, the possibility of, of a consumer being able to have their own um, track of audio or descriptive audio and not disrupting anybody else in the audience or not having to have a special presentation of descriptive audio, allowing the consumer to be able to do that on their own because it's synchronized with the movie. Uh, there are so many exciting changes occurring. Um, Dave and Tim have talked about uh, the changes that they've seen in their theaters and I think there's a lot more coming about as a result of that. The, the um, management systems are now so much more flexible, allowing them um, more ability to, to get more throughput in the theaters on more types of programming. So I think we're still in a very, <coughs> excuse me, exciting uh, period of time and growth. Uh, Sean mentioned we still have the problem of um, whenever a new concept comes about that there are now more types of products to distribute, you gotta make sure that the right one got to the theater. So 230 dis different versions is really not a goal. The, <laughs> the goal is always to uh, get back to a, some sort of a standard that um, will allow us to distribute the same piece to a lot of places and have have the projector be able to pull out the pieces that they need. <clears throat> My hat's off to the Inner Society Digital Cinema Forum, which continually works on getting changes implemented into the whole infrastructure um, on, on a kind of a simultaneous basis that allow things then to be smoothed out. Things like we used to have to do the 3D subtitles individually worked into the images. That's a lot of versions that you gotta make sure the right one gets to the right theater. Now, um, and I think it's just rolling out right now where all projectors will be able to, to do the subtitle on the fly. Um, so that's a, a constant. Uh, right now, immersive audio, <coughs> or object-based audio, or whatever, but if you want to pick your favorite term, those are unique distributions, but there's standards being worked in SIMTI to try to have one distribution mechanism so that it can play out in any of those theaters. So that's a constant battle that the um, industry will always have. We have always had that, even with uh, traditional film elements. But there are so many other exciting things. I don't think we would have ever gotten a mechanical projector to go 120 frames a second. It'd be very loud. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sort of wrapping it back around, I'd like to sort of go back and, and ask the basic question, which is, have we done a good job? Or has the industry done a good job with the digital rollout? Uh, I think my view is, yes, 
that all the fundamental objectives were met and the census actually turned out better. But any comments on that? Steve. I mean, uh, I think absolutely. I think the industry's done a great job, although it's a little different from the first time scale that I was given. When I was already at TCI, I was like, we'll be done with the spec in 18 months and we'll be, the rollout will happen within five years. I thought it would take five years. years. It's, you know, and that was unreasonable, but it, I think the industry's done a fantastic job. It's, it's uh, I mean, it, it took its time for multiple reasons, the financial crisis, the, you know, the, the different uh, permutations of the, 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 you know, the EPF contracts, but it's allowed us to do a lot more um, than we were able to do. And it, it's, a, as a, Tim said really early on, it's the, the presentation is fantastic. It's there. It's, it's great. It's, uh, and now, now we're in this this part that, uh, yeah, we've got this. We've got 2K. We got 4K. What else can we do to stress the boundaries? And now there's all these other new formats of technology and display. 